Way, wow, would you look at this? We are now a plutocrat, finally. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Plutocracy. We're sat in our lovely office staring at our um, luxuries that we have on the wall, and our beautiful fireplace, and of course, our wonderful map of the globe which is only the USA but it is a global map it says so right here <laughs> um, we uh, we did alright in the last uh, in the last episode we managed to get a bit of money in so uh, yeah look at this we're, we're earning we're earning we, we, we have 7.1 million dollars worth of shares we have over a hundred thousand pounds of uh, almost two hundred thousand dollars monies uh in luxuries and we are making a whopping 669,000 every single quarter which apparently is an 8.34 percent roi so that's lovely great stuff today we need to start uh thinking about our end condition <laughs> we've only got what 20 years yeah 10 years 10 years oh gosh we've got 10 years to become the richest person in the country and um, we're not doing we're not doing great we're not doing great let's have a look at our person search and there is a nice little search function here i think so if we go status show all just make sure we've got everything and then can we just sort wealth is there a sort button somewhere for wealth, sort out uh, sorting, uh, descending. Yes, okay. So the the wealthiest person at the moment seems to have a wealth five hundred fifty nine million dollars, and yeah, I don't know where we are in that list. Um, quite low down though, uh, I think. Here here is us and our opponent. So we're sitting at a pretty 8.2. So we've got quite quite a way to go to catch up with the uh, with the top uh, with the top person in the country. But we are doing a lot better than our competitor, which which is very nice to see. Now, question is, how do we try and uh, get to the top in the limited amount of time we have left? And that's that's a good question, and it's not, I'm not sure I've got the answer to it. But um, we are making a, a decent amount of money. We own most of the James Brother banks, James Brothers Bank, um, which isn't owned by the James Brothers at all. It's owned by me. <laughs> uh, so we still need a name for this. I don't know what to call it. Um, we are currently expanding, so we're growing little by little. We have a decent revenue. We are plonking money into the reserve, but we do have a nice tidy dividend size, which is um, which is good because we need those dividends uh, because that is how we make our cash. <laughs> so at the moment, dividend payments are three hundred seventeen thousand, and most of that goes to us. Uh, but we can have a look at our shares and actually see where we're getting our money from, and we should be able to see. Yeah, 314,000 from the James Brothers bank there. Um, we are we're making a, a decent whack from other places as well. 212 comes from Jones Inc. So that's that's a good source of income for us as well. And even in Adams Bank, we, we have a very small share in Adams Bank, that, but that's still 50, uh, 50,000 that we're getting in. So all good stuff. I think think maybe banks are the way to go <laughs> um, it is kind of the theme of the game I suppose uh, with us being Robin banks <laughs> but uh, yeah we need to we need to get more money uh, I was thinking perhaps we should try and monopolize the banks in this state and then all states <laughs> um, I'm not sure how hard that's gonna be uh, we can have a look at the market cap uh, we've still got the smallest bank but we have got, oh, there's another oil company. So I'm always tempted to buy an oil company, and I don't know why. This Foster and Partners Bank, we can always try and get them. 
So they've got a uh, oh they've got they've got nine shareholders. So there's quite a few shareholders that I'd have to deal with. Um, but it isn't a massive market cap, and we are making a good amount of money. So we should be able to grab that in not too much time. It'll be quicker to grab uh, Jones Oil. And we have to remember as well, we do have a uh, we do have. I can't have a look at the companies because I don't have an office. But we do have a, a, a bank over here in Oregon as well. So that we have a few options, um, including having a look at, for example, the most profitable places, uh, which is up here. <laughs> um, and we could just maybe just filter on banks, for example, and just look at profitable banks just to see where they are. So there's a very profitable bank down here. If we just wanted to go the bank route, um, but that's very profitable, 30 something percent. We could also have a look at the uh, dividends to see where the highest dividends are paid and for banks. So there's a bank in Illinois that's paying a good amount of dividends. I'm tempted to go here, but look at the train ticket price, 3.7K. I think, I think we can deal with it. <laughs> Let's uh, let's travel over. Oh look at that, we're going so slowly. Let me up the speed. Oh, but we do have a vote first. So, Olivia, uh, I don't want to reduce the net income. That's bad. I'm gonna vote it down like everybody else. Grand. Okay, let's up to three times speed, and hopefully we'll get to Illinois in May. <laughs> quickly, quickly. We don't want the quarter to end. Fantastic. And we're looking for a profitable bank. So, can I not filter on banks? Is there only one bank in this state? There's two banks. Hmm. Okay. But we're looking for a bank that pays quite high dividends, right? So, I'm guessing it must be this one. Yeah, well, that that'll be why. <laughs> the bank is worth 564 mil and has uh, 1,298 workers. So, yeah, that'll be paying quite quite a lot of dividends. If you have a look at this guy, their share in the in this in this bank is 16.9 mil, which is incredibly high. So, yeah, I I think it'll be a while before we could. Uh, we could buy much of this bank and actually the best way to do this would, would be to do it on the stock exchange. Um, out of curiosity, pure curiosity, I might do the old uh, let's buy a single share and see what's going on. Even though that is $500 in of itself. We should be able to then go and have a look at the finances here. Lots of cash reserves, which is always nice. Uh, dividend size of 50%. Work plan at 100. There's a lot of scope in this bank, but it's just such a such a big bank that I don't think it would uh, it would ever do us very good. Um, saying that, I might just sink a bunch of money into it for the sake of it, because um, that always seems like a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. So that will give us a lot of money right now, but. It's always good to have interests in lots of different places, and even though our uh, our stake in this bank is going to be minuscule, <laughs> uh, it's good. It's just good to have a lot of fingers in a lot of pies. Um, yes. So I'm going to advance the. Oh no! Why do they always want bribes when I run out of money? Okay, take the bribe. Yes, there we go. He's taken the bribe and I've lost a bunch of cash. I need to stop uh, spending all of my money. Um, I don't want to decrease my income, so I'm going to vote against this. Yeah, I need to stop spending all of my money each quarter so that I've got money to, to pay for any random events that pop up. Okay, uh, changing worker rate to decrease money. Nope. Okay, so we're up to 839 thousand pounds every single tick which is really good we are we are honing in on that mill <laughs> one million every single quarter would be very good for us bank took a big rise so that's pretty cool um yeah that steak we bought was uh was well worth it 
Um, however, I th I'm, I'm going to go back to California. Uh, this has been kind of a wasted trip, but I, I want to go after those smaller banks and those smaller companies. Start buying those out, even though this is a very long train ride. Cool. So let's uh, let's go back to market cap, small market cap. Focusing on banks might be the good thing to do, and therefore that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, we're looking for people with, uh, <laughs> with the broken piggy bank because they seem to have their the cheapest share prices. Unless this, they're on the stock market? Nope. And is there anybody desperate to sell? Now this person wants to buy shares of a bank, but not this one. So we'll start with Alexander Henderson. And we'll see if we can buy uh, any of his shares for myself, of course. We'll up that. Uh, and yeah, I think this would be all of this gent's uh, shares in this bank. So let's start the negotiation. This is the market price. So we're getting a fair deal, but I will compromise anyway, just in case. And we're not going for it, so I'm going to agree. And we now have a stake in this bank. Small stake, but worth every penny. I am very sure of it. Next person. Uh, so we've got this investor here. He's a mercenary, which means he's going to ask for a lot more money uh, to buy this bank. There's another piggy bank guy right here. So his market share is worth 524k. Let's see if we can get some of the bank off of him. I'm going to try and buy everything he's got. And I will not compromise, but I will compromise. <laughs> because I'm uh, happy to compromise a few times. Come on. You know you... Yes, there we go. I knew you'd meet me more than halfway. Fantastic. So we paid less on that. So we're now at 16% of the bank. Our income is slowly, slowly growing. Uh, we should be able to buy this person out as long as they're amenable. They are fearless, um, but we are. It is easier to make a deal with this person. So let's try that. Thank you very much. Now you're coming over here, All right? Let's compromise. Oh, wow! Why did I compromise so much? Oh man. <laughs> There we go. Um, I don't think I would have liked to have compromised quite as much as I did. But there we go. Uh, oh, okay, the politician wants to uh, buy shares of this bank here. The Steelworks Bank. This is our original bank. Now, uh, they want all of our shares in that bank. Uh, below market price. Now I think I might make an enemy by refusing, but I'm going to have to refuse because I don't want to. I don't want to part with those shares at below market price. It's just not good for me. And yet again, I've spent all of my money, and uh, I don't have any emergency fund, which isn't great. Way wow! Would you look at this? We are now a plutocrat. Finally, <laughs> we've hit a wealth of uh, ten mil, which is fantastic. We we. We're well on the way to 100 mil for for our, our third uh, plutocracy uh, achievement, but uh, yeah, we're we're on the way. We're on the way, and we are making over 900 thou every single quarter now, which is very tasty indeed. We do have another star as well. Interesting. I might keep hold of it until I know what to do with it because I'm, I'm tempted to put it into grants or something or loans, just to see uh, see if I can make make use of my uh, my business uh, owning so I can't oh that's right that's the oil company so look at the bank here I could potentially make a trust organizer uh, participation in trust allows you to gain advantages in the development of technologies at the expense of its participants hmm yeah, so there's that thing. Um, there's mergers as well, which 
but it wouldn't really be a good idea for us right now. And of course there is lending, um, which is us borrowing, I believe, rather than us actually getting like uh, getting a, a, a personal loan. It's a loan for the bank, which I didn't quite didn't quite get first off but that's what that is um, but there, there is subsidies as well that you can make use of if you're friends with the uh, yeah you can get subsidies here uh, off the treasurer and you can get government contracts if you've got a good relationship with the governor doesn't look like that current governor is corruptible <laughs> which is um a shame I suppose <laughs> but they're also not loyal to us and we also haven't learned anything about grants um, but eventually we might be able to learn about grants and then just get um, uh, better prices and I think subsidies are basically the same maybe maybe not maybe it's just really good loan not sure <laughs> we'd have to uh, we'd have to research subsidies these are things that I probably want to dip into in a little while. Trusts are something that we need to get into as well. Um, but we won't be able to do any trust stuff while we've only got uh, such a small stake in this company because of the other the other members of that business might not like it. Well, that, that's the way I feel about it. Might not be true. Profitability of this company sucks. <laughs> Don't know what's going on there. Maybe, uh, maybe but somebody's playing shenanigans like I normally do. Um, Let's go back to Foster and Brothers. Uh, any useless human beings to trade with? Probably not. This guy wants to sell oil shares, but not bank shares. That's not what we're interested in. So I'm just going to uh, go with the... Damn it, let's spend a skill point. <laughs> let's... Right. Do I try and get better better prices? Uh, less Less chance of there being a bad effect or more rounds? or less time between rounds. I think we'll go for eloquence. We can go for better prices next time. Right. I've done it. I've, I've spent my point. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's chat to Ava and let's just try and buy out as much of the shares as we can. Uh, she only has a, a small number of shares, I think. So this should be pretty easy. I'm going to compromise, but uh, there was no real need to there. Yeah, let's just agree. Very good. Great, so we're now at 21%. Let's talk to the next person. And I'm just going to whiz through this and just try and get as many as I can. This is a big markup for this fella. Um, so I'm paying over the odds for this guy, no matter what I do. I'm hoping he comes up here. Yeah, good stuff. So that cost us. That was expensive. But hopefully we can we can make good on that. Uh, maybe I should keep some of my cash. Uh, just in case of emergencies. So let's maybe just try and buy that many. Um, I will compromise. Yeah, let's just agree there, and we have now got 29.7% of this bank. Very good indeed. And look at this, we do have an event that's popped up. Uh, another scandalous article somebody's going to write about us. We could lose the reputation, um, or we could bribe the editor, or we could ignore the rumours. And uh, yeah, I'm going to attempt to bribe the editor. I've got the money to do it. And we've just, we've lost reputation. Fair enough. Maybe instead we can buy <gasps> the Venus de Milo. Oh, I hope we can afford it. We're probably going to get outbid, but I have to try. I don't have enough money. Quit. Yes. <sighs> we lost the Venus de Milo, but I will be back for you one day, Venus. One day. Okay, more money under our belt. Let's go back to Foster and Partners and try and get more of the bank. Uh, right. Yes, yeah, very good. I'm going to agree right there. Great deal. Thank you very much. 
and then we're going to try the next person hello hello let's do, let's make a deal uh, oh my gosh you're asking such a bad price uh, come on you can you can come down here compromise meet me halfway meet me at least halfway oh that'll do <laughs> right very good very good quit that one who's next <laughs> this person uh, yeah oh if we don't make a deal with this person they will they will be extra angry at us and if they become too angry at us we'll never be able to buy their shares so that's something to bear in mind um, but let's let's go for it and see what we can do compromise come on buddy come over here oh. I'm gonna try compromising again okay I'm just gonna agree so he's he's made a killing off of me this time around but it does put us at 42% uh, ownership which is the majority shareholder in Foster and Partners um, I'm going to uh, get some more cash and hopefully we can almost finish the job as if this is the Vin no it's the Chinese dragon statue <sighs> I need I need money for antiquities. Okay, more money in, but we're we're, we're falling down. We've got less than a. Oh, it's because Jones Inc is striking. Why are you striking? I don't want you to strike. Striking is very dangerous for me. Luckily, I started putting money in reserve. Um, geez, why why isn't my CEO dealing with that? <laughs> right, is there anything here? Right. Strike, strike, strike. Preventing strikes. Hmm. Okay. I don't like the messages in this game. Oh, look at that. The main menu's there. I never noticed that before. <laughs> um, that's how often I mouse over here. Um, yeah, I don't like the messages in the newspaper feature. It just doesn't doesn't seem very uh, interesting. Uh, not very like easy to use either. Right. Jones Inc. Annoying that that's. Uh, they're striking but hopefully that strike will end and we can survive relatively unscathed let's get back to foster and partners uh, we've still got some work to do this guy should be good to deal with because he's calm and I like working with calm people his stakes way higher than we can afford at the moment so let's carry on talking to this grumpy looking fella I don't, I don't know what it is that makes me think he's grumpy. I've just got this idea that he is a grump. Uh, maybe because of the, the traits that it said he had. Come on. Yes, there we go. You knew it was your time to get out of the business, didn't you? There we go. So we are now the controlling shareholder. Very good indeed. Um, that means it's time for shenanigans, uh, which is how I play this game. Right. Worker rate, the work plan down to zero that will hurt us temporarily uh, but I should be able to do it very good hopefully I, I can put it back on before the quarter ends back over to the shareholders the share price would have or should have fallen so it should be a lot cheaper for us to buy how much is your stake worth now 854,000 and yours is 530. We might just get away with buying uh, Foster and Partner shares. Let's make sure we do that right. <laughs> I don't want to buy oil shares, Foster and Partners, for yourself. Cool, let's try and get as much as we can. Mm. He's, uh, he's going to ask a lot of us, and we're not going to get a good price. We're having to give a lot of ground in order to get this by guy to agree to sell to us. So I'm just going to do that. So I don't think we got, got very far. Yeah, we didn't get very far with this guy before we ran out of money. Um, which is kind of annoying because it means I need to reverse shenanigan and uh, put the work plan back up. So we'll take that up to 200, which will be very good. Everybody will be in favour of that. Uh, dividends at eight percent. Worker rate. Uh, if we paid our workers more, net income would increase. So let's 
keep going up until we get to a point where it wouldn't increase. So I'm looking up at the net income in the top corner. Uh, and it's all going up so far. So that's, oh, there we go. There's the point. Yeah, there's the point of no return. So I think that's, that's it. So they should all agree to this. Uh, not that it matters because uh, my say is now final because I've got that controlling vote. Research-wise, I think we'll leave that how it is right there for now. Okay, we've got some more cash in right now. Um, I'm going to see if I can play shenanigans. At the moment, it doesn't look like I can, but we'll see if that changes. Doesn't look to be changing. Hmm. I can do it now. Oh, it looked like temporarily we had over a mil coming in. Um, everyone's going to vote against this, but again, I have the controlling stake. Let's uh, let's have a good look here. So I'm gonna go with the calm person first and try and get the shares that they have as much as we can afford. Anyway, let's start the negotiations. Again, they're not really willing to sell to me, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get him to compromise anyway, just in case. Nah, we'll just we'll do what we can. We'll do what we can to get a good deal on their shares and so we've only got this one guy left uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back into here increase that work plan again so that I'm making money yes 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 uh, we are now making over a million very good indeed oh look at this we're at a charity evening <laughs> amazing um, you attend a charity evening in support of the poor in support of the poor, <laughs> organised in high society by a local patron, Gavin Gonzalez. Uh, the moment has come where Gavin Gonzalez con uh, contacted you about making a donation. Um, I could uh, make a donation, which I, is a very big donation, 123 grand. I could do a motivational speech, which would either do nothing, or would... Uh, add loyalty with uh, this guy or I could just don't donate anything and not make a speech so I'm gonna make a motivational speech because I don't really want to part with the money but if my speech goes badly I don't lose anything so we yes uh, we're not on the patron list but we had a we gave a beautiful speech and everyone appreciated it so that's good <laughs> And I didn't lose my money, which is uh, which is the most important thing. Okay, okay, look at that. Over a mil in the bank. 1.2 mil coming in. Ah, oh, this feels great. <laughs> um, we are going to shenanigan the hell out of this company, if I can. Any minute now. Um, I would not like to do whatever you're suggesting. But I'm waiting for the work plan to change. Doesn't seem to want to change. Right, there we go. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Let's do that. Fantastic. Now let's talk to this guy. And we'll... No, Foster and Partners. <laughs> Almost buy shares in the company I don't want. Let's start the negotiations. And I shall compromise. And I'll compromise again. Oh, don't need to. Fantastic. Yep, so job is a good one. We now have a hundred percent of this bank. So yes, 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 yes. Foster and Partners California now belongs to us. We can whack that whip plan right the way back up. Fantastic. There's uh, still a great amount of money in reserve, so everything is good there. Um I wonder if we can think about a merger with the other bank I don't know if we need we might need money in reserve in one of the banks in order to do that um, and I don't know if I can get rid of the other guy <laughs> so uh, let's have a look at what we've got 1 million reserve there and over here we have what do we have uh, 1.87 mil so let's uh, Let's have a look at the newly acquired bank, just see what it would take 
to uh, to do a merger. So, yeah, Foster and Partners of James Brothers. The structure would be a merger. Uh, we could do a takeover. So I think it, if we do a takeover, we might be able to get rid of uh, the opponent from James Brothers. But I don't know how that would work. Which CEO would we want to keep? Probably, probably Olivia because she's just better at economics. Um, and I feel like you have to be good at economics if you're running a bank. Technology would improve because we're merging two entities. And so we need at least 4.15 mil in Foster and Partners in order to make a takeover. So that's great. We know that now. So uh, we can just wait for the dividends. Uh, well, should we reduce the dividends? Um, I don't want to make too little money. Let's let's take it down to 50%. Is that way I'm still on 1.1 mil, but more money will go into the reserve. I'll keep piling money into the reserve here, and then hopefully we can we can do ourselves a little merger. The other thing we can do is uh, have a look at a trust. So we can create a trust, uh, the Banks Trust. That sounds pretty good. Um, but if you've got a better trust name, do tell me, because, uh, yes, Banks Trust is all I can come up with. It's about banking company. I'm going to create that. Very good indeed. Uh, I'm going to vote for it. Obviously I am. Oh. Huh. Now this isn't the, this isn't the company I was intending to join, join it. Nor this one. <laughs> Lots of... I, I forgot just how many banks I had shares in. Okay, so so we we do have a we do have a trust anyway that is set up by possibly just me. Hmm. Don't know if I've done that right. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we're both both a member of the bank's trust. So that's that's good because we are we should be sharing technology uh, across both of these uh, both of these banks now. Uh, what we can also do is uh, make a cartel, I believe. So if we put that one into the cartel, and then we go over to Banks Trust Two. Uh, mm, ah. Okay, so I can't do a cartel yet because we've got the the enemy working in our bank. So there's no no real point in us being in a cartel at the moment, uh, because you need at least two members to be in a cartel. So we won't do that for now. <laughs> but what have we achieved today? We have bought another bank. We've bought another bank and we've established a bank trust, which is really good. Both of the banks are a decent size both similar sizes uh, and there are maybe some other banks yeah there's invent bank they exist they're quite a big bank compared to us um, but i guess they're the next one that we need to go after in this state we look at finances you've got yes yeah, so this is the state uh, banks trust this is our first one this is uh, banks trust two so the, this this bank and then this whopping slice of the pie is is invent bank so we need to uh, combine forces and then take on the uh, the bully of Invent Bank, and that's going to be our character arc over the next uh, <laughs> over the next sort of uh, session or so. Right, let's uh, let's summarise. Let's have a look at our. Let's not look at that. Let's look at our portrait. Let's find our opponent. There he is. <laughs> And let's just compare and see how we're doing now. So we're up to a uh, while well, for 15.7 million versus 5.63 mil. We're making over 1.1 mil every single quarter, whereas our opponent is making uh, 465,000. So we are very much doing better on our, than our opponent at the moment. Uh, and we've still got time. <laughs> it's uh, We've still got time. Yeah, we've got nine years to become the richest. 
We're now in 2080th position. So, quite a way to go, but we're getting there. So, um, yeah, overall, quite a good session. We've bought another bank, we've increased our income, and we're doing much better than the AI. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like, uh, leave a comment as well. Let me know how your thoughts on how the series is getting on. Um, give me some business names. Uh, I need I need a better name than Bank Trust because that isn't very good. <laughs> um, and if you haven't subscribed, do leave a do leave a subscribe. Yeah, leave a subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.